Sony versus Samsung. Man, this is a very, very popular argument. It's almost as if LG is just kind of like left out of it altogether. Um, of course, whenever you're talking about shootouts and competitions, you're going to have those three brands. Those are the big three. Got to respect them. Got to respect them. So uh, I just want to talk about the state of Sony and TVs versus Samsung and TVs. I'm not sure why, you know, it rages so many people. It always seems as if when you go through and you watch most of these videos, be it comparison videos or a video where you got one um, that's, you know, an unboxing review or the other, you're going to have people coming out with their fake accounts. They're going to they're going to log into all the fake accounts. And they're going to talk shit about everything that they don't like about the TV. So the number one thing, number one thing right on both of these two is going to come down to availability and price as a plus and availability and price as a negative that can be samsung and sony or however you want to look at it right samsung tv is going to come out first they're going to charge right for them they're going to charge whatever they want for them and because they're first and they're bleeding edge and they're 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 cascading with that technology first that's the game they're going to be first to first up to bat to hit the home run or to get whatever kind of movement they can get on on board right and then you look at Sony, never mind, you got LG and you got Hisense and you got TCL and Vizio, and you got Insignia and you've got Roku and you've got Amazon and you've got Ion and you've got all these different brands that come in between. But we got Sony to come out with their platform whenever they do. And we're just talking flagships like best of the best, best versus best. Sony's going to come dead last at the end, almost as if they position their TVs to be first for the next year. But anyway, they come out last and I mean, they're still pricing them comparable to where they feel that they need to be. They're sizing them up to whatever the highest echelon of the competition is almost what it seems. Hence, you know, S95, C77, 4500, A95, L77 inch, five grand. Well, by the time Sony comes out, this TV that was 4500 eight months ago is now a thousand dollars less. I'm just using that as an example. It's cheaper, right? It might be like 3,900, 3,800. Uh, the retail on it is no longer 45 now it's 4200 and the sale price is now like 37 3800 so now you're saying hey man you know do i spend 1200 dollars? is this brand new tv that just came out a month ago two months ago a week ago right is it worth 1200 dollars more is it 1200 dollars better that is like the most popular thing for people to ask and it's like it's the most obvious method of sarcasm but is it double more? Is it double better? Is it $1,200 better? Man, that is the executive decision for the pocketbook holder, for the person that's going to write the check, that's going to punch or swipe the bank card. That's the question for them. That's not the question for me. It's not the question for you. That's the question for the person that's buying into it. But what happens is we get opinions involved. We get the Twitter fingers. We get the going, right? We get the emotions involved with the, with the keys. And then that collectively comes out as an attack where it could simply be better dialogue if it's just like, hey, well, uh, you know, if you see some ignorance to the person that's maybe uploading or asking the question, maybe you can you can go in and you can tell them, hey, man, look, this is this was my finding. Right. But no, that doesn't really happen here. It doesn't happen anywhere. It's just like, hey, man, this is what I bought because this is what I could afford. And that's what you should be getting. And if you don't, then you're dumb. No. Maybe that person hit the fucking lottery or maybe that person, you know what I'm saying, actually got their finances together where they can afford to do X, Y, and Z, or they actually see the value in what that is. And it, it really is double or whatever the cost better. I don't know. For me, I'm just like this. Sony has a more refined TV is what I will say. Now, it has nothing to do with the issues that I'm having with the S95C. And I'm not just looking to compare these two, but really this is just more just discussion, right? This is just therapy. Let's just talk about this because I'm making this video so we can have some engagement. Um, but Sony comes out with a product that, you know, they've put out in that they feel that, hey, this is a definitive product. We're gonna charge what we're gonna charge and we're not gonna fold on that because that's what a lot of companies do. You know, when you start putting your stuff on sale and you start making your stuff cheap, people assume it's cheap. They do. They really do, guys. It's not about the fact that, hey, these materials are made in the same factory or they don't cost that much more to make. It's about the the it's the illusion of that's how you run a business. If my product looks good, sounds good, feels good, 
You know what I mean? And it costs right, then people are going to flock to that. So you have a clientele base that's going to go after that versus the company that's going to make 40 different models every year, which I got nothing against that. Nothing against it at all, man, because they're both really champions in this. And truly, at the end of the day, competition breeds excellence, man. That's what it's all about. Even in the space of doing YouTube content, you got all these people that are virtually talking about the same stuff. You got so many people on YouTube reviewing the same product. Like, what more can you see? You go to different channels for different character, different personalities. It's the same thing with TVs. You got two Quantum Dot OLED panels. Well, if this one on paper can do 144 hertz and this one can only do 120 hertz, do you really think that because this does 144 is better? No, you have to figure out exactly how that even plays into your lifestyle and if the trade-offs are even better. That's to me, in my opinion, that's the way that you should inspect the argument and just the totality of the conversation about like Sony versus Samsung. But I would like to know what you guys thought. You know, I've got a couple of different projects that I'm working on to produce and bring to you guys. But um, I had a couple of different things that I wanted to discuss and I figured I would make it a video. I could have went live, but I wanted to make it a video to put it out there to give you guys an opportunity to chime in. So let me know what you think in the comment sections down below. If you like the video, leave a thumb up. Keep the support going. We're going to keep the positivity going and I'm going to catch you guys on the next video. Peace. God bless. And as always, say, man, Max Love, we out.